in Egypt. Water scarcity and overpopulation are two major crises that have recently erupted, affecting agriculture and threatening to cause drought and famine in the future, due to the decrease in the amount of crops and produce. The problem is expected to become even more critical with the building of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Means to decrease food import and increase local crops have been the focus of researchers and the government for the past few years. Dr. Hisham Haggeg, a retired economist that graduated from Oxford University, decided to come back to Egypt and contribute to solving the problem by introducing a new organic planting method, depending on fish water. Um, we are going to face a problem in, uh, in the next few years. We are already having a problem now. Think of what is going to happen in the next five or ten years. I'm talking about 2020 or 2025 or 2030. So my main concern was what to do. Aquaponics is raising fish and growing plants in one soilless integrated system. The fish waste provides an organic food source for the plants and the plants provide a natural filter for the water the fish live in. This method saves up to 95% of water and produces more than double the amount of crops and fish in less time. The fish produces ammonia during through its na natural life. We use that ammonia into uh, uh, transforming it to NO2 first, which is nitrate. With plants don't use nitrate. And then into nitrogen or nitrate, NO3 which plants can easily absorb and uh, grow on it. That's the main idea. So without adding any additive additives to the water, we can use only fish water to grow all, mostly 90% of the plants that we need to survive on. Dr. Hageg and his wife run a one acre aquaponic farm and are considered the pioneers of aquaponics in Egypt. The couple's farm is considered a reference and a prominent place that sells organic products at convenient prices. People go there to enjoy cutting their own food and catching their fish. It's also an educational hub for all those interested in learning aquaponics at any scale. They have supported other farms with providing knowledge, materials, and even outlets for their produce. It's too sad to think about what we can do if we applied this all over the country. An investment of 100,000 pounds in, in a system like this can really make a, a good living. You can have a life. It, not just clean food, you can have a life. You can have a good income and have a life. And that's my main concern. I mean, why not? We can do it. It's not difficult. Technology is there and obtainable. It's not difficult, believe me. Mohammed Magdi, who has a full-time job at an advertising company, grows his own food and fish in his backyard, saying aquaponics provides his house with organic food and doesn't consume his time. هو الاكوبونيك فتح مجالات ليا والناس كتير قوي ان هي تبتدي تنتج من نفسها حتى لو المعلومات بتاعتها ضعيفه او ما عندهاش فكره في الزراعه قوي ان هو السيستم منجح نفسه بنفسه يعني هو وسيله ان انت تقدر تنتج حتى لو انت ما تعرفش with a small scale aquaponic system that fits his backyard Magdi grows the maximum amount of crops and fish أنا شغلي زي أي حد بقعد من الساعة 8 الصبح ل 8 بالليل بره بس في نفس الوقت زي زرعت طماطم وخيار وتنجان وقرع وكل حاجة. A soilless system that requires the least labor effort and produces more organic produce along with fish meat can be the solution to a crisis hitting a whole nation. This is Rana Ashraf for AUC TV.